In this video, we will create a virtual machine in Microsoft Hyper-V. Uh, before we create a virtual machine in Hyper-V, I create a folder. I keep all my virtual machines in C drive, then virtual disk folder. Then I create a folder for this new virtual machine. Name of this uh, virtual machine is EE dot server okay dot in and this will be the host name for the server for now this is an empty uh, folder now we create the virtual machine for that click on new on the right side menu then select the virtual machine click on next here you need to give a name for the virtual machine. I usually give, you can give whatever name, but it is easy to give a name uh, that you can use to identify the virtual machine. In this case, I will give server OK. Next. You can select between generation 1 or generation 2 virtual machine. Generation 1 is old BIOS virtual machine, boot, uh, boot menu. This will use UEFI based uh, firmware. Also support Microsoft uh, Secure Boot. We will be using generation 1. Click on next. Here you need to specify memory I will give 2 GB RAM that is 2048 MB click next you can specify the network here click next here yeah, I sell instead of this folder I select the newly created folder that is an empty folder so I will have all the files for this particular virtual machine on that specific folder so browse and ee.serverrocket.in that is the folder I created select otherwise you will have all virtual machine files in same folder that will be difficult to manage in this case if I ever need to delete I just delete the virtual machine in Microsoft Hyper-V then I can just remove this folder will completely remove the virtual machine from the server click next now you need to select the ISO file used to install so I select this option then select the ISO image file ISO I have Debian 10 ISO here and Ubuntu 2004 I select this Debian 10 finish now it is creating the uh, files so if you look on look in this folder you will see a file is created okay now the virtual machine is created status is off we need to start the virtual machine for that right click and click start now the virtual machine is running to install you need to access the console of the virtual machine for that double click on the virtual machine we have two options graphical install or normal install I select the normal install then select the language on the screen select the country and then configure keyboard American English now it started copying the files okay it shows network auto configuration failed 
this is because uh, we use OVH data center. They have some special network configuration. I select do not configure network at this time. I will configure the network once the installation is complete. We can log into server using this uh, console then configure the network. Okay, it is asking for a host name. Put the subdomain part of the host name EE. Continue. Then it is asking for root password. Then click continue. Uh, make sure you remember this because you need this to log into the server. Click on continue. Need to enter the password again. Select the option. Continue. Enter full name for the new user. You are asked to create a new user. I enter server OK as the usage full name. Continue. Then it will select the select the full name as a username. Again, continue. Now we need to set a password for uh, the new user. Continue. Re-enter the password. Select continue. Now it will ask you to set uh, select a time zone. Uh, select Eastern. Now it asks for partitioning the disk. We will select the first option. This will use the ender disk for the operating system. This is the disk where we are installing. It is a 136 GB disk. Press enter. On partitioning disk uh, screen, you have three options. First option will use enter disk as single partition. So you don't have to worry about any partitioning. Select the option, finish partitioning and write changes to disk. Select yes. Now the disk is uh, formatting. The installation of the Debian 10 started. On the screen, select no. Okay, it says no network mirror was selected. Uh, this is because we don't have network on this server. Continue without network mirror. Yes, select yes. We can configure apt get uh, later to use a real repository. Participate in package usage survey. No, we choose software to install standard system utilities. Uh, select enter. Select yes. Enter the device. We need to install grub boot loader on DVSDA. This is the only disk. So we almost done the installation after the grub boot loader is installed. You will be asked to reboot. Installation is complete. Press enter uh, to select the continue button that will reboot the server. Server is uh, rebooting. Okay, we are booting to Debian 10. You can log in with the user root and the password we set during the installation. Now you are logged into the Debian server. That's all you need to create a server in Microsoft Hyper-V.